Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Multiplex Movie Warzone. I'm your host, Caleb Bob Boltman, and today we got a great match for you. Koho going up against Nazario. Should be a great match. Let's just bring our competitors in. So, starting first, Nazario and your manager, Mike. How are you feeling? Tired. Sleepy. Like, it's like 10 30. Don't be in Why are we fucker. doing this late, Mike? I don't know why are we? you the one invited me here. I didn't invite you. Shit, that's that's fair. I mean, other than that, I mean, it's coho, so that's all right. No, you're mind. facing Captain Underpants, all right? Shit. The director, the principal. <laughs> <laughs> In Spanish, principals are called directors. Oh, okay. fair. <laughs> it's 10:30 well, p.m. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah, no, I did it right. Okay, and Co, how are you feeling? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, I'm excited to be back in singles. Uh, you know, played this fucker in Phantom, and I kicked his ass. So let's do it again in Warzone. Okay. Well, without further ado, we're going to get into round one. Two years round, ago. round one's going to work like this: eight different questions, eight different categories. You get a late, right? You get a bonus question, three repeats, and a challenge throughout the entire match. You need them. Remember to put your hands on screen at all times. As we start off with your first question in the category of horror, Midsommar takes place in what country? You mean mostly takes place, right? Yes, mostly. Nazario, I don't have time for this tonight. <laughs> Fine. Four. He's not even supposed to be here today. That is Two. true. One. That is absolutely true. Uh, let's go to Koha. Finland. And Nazario. Okay. Sweden, man. What the fuck? Sweden is correct. They're right next to each other. Okay. D drama. What real life person does Patty Duke play in The Miracle Worker? See, this shit, you know. Who gives a shit about Midsommar? Who sucks? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, pens down. Let's go to Nazario. Yeah, Diane. <laughs> and uh, Helen Keller. <laughs> Helen Keller is <laughs> As we get to your next question, category 1970s. No perfect rounds. What 1970s film is about a single mother who moves to California with hopes of becoming a singer and ends up working in a diner instead? I I like diners, specifically like movies that have scenes in diners. I like diners, drive-ins, and dives. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Coho. Is that Norma Ray? And Nazario. Is that a diner? No, it's Alice doesn't live here anymore. Oh, that's what that's about as well. As we get to your fourth question, category of Oscars. Name two of the four people that lost the most recent Best Actress Oscar to Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain. I could do uh, an impression of the role she won the Oscar for, but I won't. Five, four, repeat the question. Two, one. Sorry, and, uh, Oh, sorry. No. Uh, name two of the four people that lost the most recent Best Actress Oscar to Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain. Uh, she's nice, I think. Five, four, Fuck. three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Coho. Uh, Penelope Cruz and Kristen Stewart. And Nazario. I just remember Penelope Cruz. Uh, Penelope Cruz and Kristen Stewart are correct. As we get to your next question, category of sports. 
What tragic event is the center of the film We Are Marshall? Uh, whenever I hear this title, I just want to do like the, the farmer's insurance commercials and go, We Are Marshall. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Five, four, that is completely two, inadequate. No. One. Pens down, pens down. Let's go to Coho. It's the death of a coach. And Zario. It's a plane crash. It is a plane crash. Um, so we are back to being tied two to two. <clears throat> Directors. Who directed Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? Oh. No. No. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Coho. Joe Johnston. And Zario. Dojo. Fuck. Let's go. Joe Johnston is correct. As we get into your penultimate question category of quotes, which 90s film ends with the following quote? I am a star, I'm a star, I'm a star, I am a bright shining star. That's right. Uh, don't you know that you are a shooting star? I don't even know what band sings that song. But that's a song. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Nazaria. I'm pretty sure he was talking to his dick. Okay, nice. And uh, Coho. Now the city song, bro. Boogie Nights. <laughs> Boogie Nights is correct. Still tied as we get into our final question category, crime. William Peterson, Tom Noonan, and Brian Cox all appear in what crime film thriller? Brian Cox seems perpetually grumpy. Just always in a bad mood. Five, four, three, two, one. Pen sound. Let's go to Coho. Manhunter. And Nazario. He kicks ass in succession. Manhunter. That is true as well. Uh, so five to five. As we get into round number two, round two is going to work like this. Each competitor is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. If they like what they spin, they can keep it. If they don't, they can spin again, but then they're stuck with it. They're going to get five questions in order of category. They get they get it right, two points, multiple choice, one point. Get it wrong, other player gets a chance for the steal. Categories on our lovely wheel tonight are co-host strengths of uh, post 1930 Frank Capra and written by Max Landis. Nazario's strengths of uh, Disney Animation and Pope 2000 Pedro Almodovar. We also have actors and actresses, crime, drama, and contents. So, uh, Nazario, you are, or no, sorry, Coho, you are higher ranked. Uh, would you like to spin first or defer? I will defer to Nazario. Okay. Uh, Nazario, we will bring in your manager. Fucking moron! You can't even get more than five points. What the fuck? You know, I, I was I was confused because I thought it was the guy from Gremlins, and it definitely. Oh shit! Yeah, I think you should definitely Frank, take this. Thirty Frank Capro. Would you like to spin that or defer? Shit, man! Let's go for it, man! Shit! I mean, I definitely watched this. Yeah. So I I don't know if I studied enough to feel so much confidence. Just fucking spin the wheel, man! What the fuck? God damn it! All right, spin that shit. <coughs> and you land on drama. Okay. For your mom. I, I used to say that. that. All right, Nazario, That's your good. first question. The category of drama. 1955's East of Eden takes place during what war? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A, Revolutionary War. B, American Civil War. C, World War I. D, World War II. World War One. That is correct for one point. Who plays Navy? Who plays U.S. Navy Commander Shears in *The Bridge on the River Kwai*? Multiple choice. Multiple choice options are: A. Fred McMurray, B. Peter O'Toole, C. William Holden, 
D. Gary Cooper. A. A is incorrect. Coho for the one point steal. Your options are A. Fred McMurray, B. Peter O'Toole, C. William Holden, D. Gary Cooper. Uh, C. William Holden. That is correct for one point steal. All right, is there your next question? What is the profession of Ted Kramer in Kramer versus Kramer? He makes advertisements, like an advertising agent. That is correct for two points. <clears throat> advertising executive is the answer we had, but I think we can accept that. Which 2000s drama is about a young law student who re-encounters an older woman he had an affair with in post-World War II Germany? Oh shit, is that the reader? That is correct for two points. <laughs> no one has seen that movie. I've seen it once. And the Oscars, they made a joke about how no one's seen the reader. Uh, your last question. Who directed The Talented Mr. Ripley? Anthony Minghella. That is correct for two points. So now we go over to Coho. Um, I have Nazario at 12. Coho at 6 with that one point steal. So uh, we will go to Coho for his spin. I got my manager. And you land on Spinner's Choice. Fuck that. I'll take written by Max Landis. Okay. First question in written by Max Landis. In Shadow in the Cloud, Maud is flying to what country from New Zealand? Samoa. Correct for two points. Glad I watched what is the name given to the enhanced agents who are sent after Mike in American Ultra? Tough guys. Correct for two points. What is the profession of Richard Detmer in Chronicle? He's a firefighter. Correct for two more points. Who plays Richard Cartigan in Mr. Wright? Uh, multiple choice. Multiple choice options are A. Callan Mulvey, B. Anson Mount, C. Andrew Bates, D. Iwan Rion. Anson Mount. Correct for one point. And finally, what name does Victor give to his monster in Victor Frankenstein? Prometheus. Correct for two points. So I have Coho at 15, Nazario at 12. Uh, that, yeah, that's... Wait, did you go multiple choice once? Yeah, yes, you did. Okay, Coho at 15, Nazario at 12. As we get into the uh, round three, which is the pick your poison round, the competitor is going to get to pick what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four point question. Categories they will be able to pick from tonight are... Cohen Brothers, Animation, Action Adventure, Recent Releases, Sports, Crime, 1990s, and Actors and Actresses. We will let them pick their categories right now, and we will get back to you right now. Our competitors have picked one, one their two, their three, and their four-point question. Coho has picked his one in crime, his two in recent releases, his three in Cohen Brothers, and his four in animation. Whereas Nazario has picked his one in sports, his two in action adventure, his three in animation, and his four in 90s. I'm the only one here, so Nazario, we will start with you, giving me giving you your uh, question 90, or in sport, your one-pointer in sports. What sports film stars Bill Murray and Chevy Chase? That technically a sport movie. I want to say Caddyshack. Golf is a sport. That is correct. One point. <clears throat> cool. As we get to your next question, category animation, which will tie it up. What? No. Or sorry, action adventure, not animation. I just misspoke. Action adventure. 
Paul Bettany, Mark Addy, and Alan Tudyk give supporting roles in what 2000s action comedy? Repeat that. Okay. That's your first repeat. Uh, Paul Bettany, Mark Addy, and Alan Tudyk give supporting roles in what 2000s action comedy? I actually believe that's your second repeat. Yeah, it's your second repeat. A Night's Tale. That is correct for two points. So now we go over to Coho for his one-pointer in crime. Who directed Inside Man? Spike Lee. For one point. So now we go back over to Nazario for the second <coughs> animation. What is the villainous dinosaur that kills Littlefoot's mother called by the characters in Land Before Time? Sharp Tooth. Sorry, what did you say? Sharp Tooth. That is correct for three points. And so now we go over to Coho for his two-pointer in recent releases. The majority of everything, everywhere, all at once takes place in a building for what government organization? The IRS. Correct for two points. And since we are tied, but Coho has more questions, we will stick with him for his three-pointer in Cullen Brothers. <clears throat> In Blood Simple, which part of Marty's which sorry, in Blood Simple, which of Marty's body parts is broken by Abby? His leg. That is incorrect. It is his finger. So we will uh, go back over to Nazario for his four pointer in nineties. Zarya, your four pointer in nineties. In quiz show, Herbie is instructed to throw the show on a question about what best picture winning film. Marty. That is correct for four points. So we are in a situation where if Coho hits this in his four pointer in animation, uh, we are tied up and we're going to sudden death. If not. Nazario does win the match. So, Coho, your four-pointer in animation. In which animated film will you find a villainous woman who goes by the Beldum? Five, four, three, two, eight. In which animated film will you find a villainous woman who goes by the Beldum? Just to clarify for myself, that's the name she's called. That's what the question means, right? I believe so. Okay. Five. Three, two. Repeat the question. I believe that's your second repeat. Yeah. In which animated film will you find a villainous woman who goes by the Beldum? Five, four, three, two. Eight. That is your last repeat. In which animated film will you find a villainous woman who goes by the Beldum? Five, four, three. Good game. Uh, corpse Bride. And your winner, Mr. VHS Nazario Montenegro. <laughs> The correct answer was Coraline. I've always thought it was Coraline. Fuck. 
So we are going to go to post-match interviews, starting with Coho. Coho, uh, you weren't able to pull off the victory tonight. How are you feeling? I'm going to be honest. I'm a little frustrated with myself at the moment. Uh, I was almost going to say Coraline. I'm not going to lie. My clarification probably cost me my thought process on Coraline. I was going to say Coraline is a complete whatever. And then after the clarification, I was like, I don't fucking know. Maybe it's probably Corpse Bride then. So I, if I just trust in my gut, I say Coraline, we go to sudden death. And maybe Nazar is the one's it, but at least it's sudden death. Um, yeah, that'll frustrate me. Um, I knew Anson Mount also. I don't know why I went multiple. I think the name threw me off. And obviously Sweden. There's a lot of things that always come up to you in hindsight where you're like, you should have had that. I should have had this. I'm upset with myself, to be honest. But Nazario played really solid. Yeah, I don't know. That's frustrating. Well, uh, thank you, Cole. When you do come back, who do you want to play next? Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, give me Mike Hanley. That'd be fun. You know that's not in your record range whatsoever. I, so I know I, he sucks, but I'd rather play Mike because, you know, fuck that guy. That was aggressive. We're going over to Nazario and Mike. That team with you, you motherfucker. You did it. You fucking did it. You sunk the ship. Yeah. Boom. So what's up? Uh, hi, Nazario. How are you feeling? Um... I'm just glad I didn't watch all that shit he gave me, like a bunch of 1930s movies and a, <laughs> and a fucking like Max Landis movies. I'm 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 at like 90% sure like he only has five movies that qualify, and I read all those wikis and they all sound like shit. One of them has a woman seeing gremlins in a plane, dude. Like what is happening right now? Fair enough. Uh, well, uh, you are moving on, and you will actually. We do know, I believe, who you are playing. Well, we'll say the winner of because I'm not sure when this match comes out, but you'll be playing the winner of either Payson Johnson and Will Cohen. Oh, wait, no, that's not correct. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You are playing the winner of uh, either um, Matthew Chen or Anthony Tisdall. I'm sorry, I got oh, yeah, that, that's that's way better, yeah. Whichever one of those. Kend, I mean, I already got wanged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I, I can beat this doll again. I like beating that guy. It's good. Fair enough. Fun duck. Well, thank you, Nazario. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I thought it was a, that was a good match. Uh, thank you, Nazario. Thank you, Coho. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, everyone at home, for watching. This has been Multiplex Movie War Zone. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs> Storm in the castle. Take it away. Take it away. Bye. -bye.